Just as BPA is a concern with the storage of baby food and breast milk, there is a real concern when it comes to formula. This chemical is in the packaging of powdered formula as well as liquid formula. The BPA levels were found to be at least 8 to 20 times higher in the liquid formula, however. In fact, one of every 16 ready-to-eat canned formulas contain levels of BPA that exceed levels that affect neurodevelopment, alter testosterone levels, and cause permanent harm to both male and female reproductive systems. Several concentrated formulas mixed with water were also found to have amounts of BPA higher than the amount considered safe by the government. However, there is an argument whether any level of BPA is safe for babies and children. Other chemicals that may be found in formula are hexane and melamine. Melamine is an industrial chemical used in the manufacture of can liners, flame retardant, cleaning products, fertilizer, and pesticides. While it may be found in some foods, it does not occur naturally in food. It is a toxic contaminant that was found in multiple formulas when tested after 12,000 babies in China were hospitalized and several died. While the amounts were below the FDA guidelines in most tested here in the United States, what amount of a toxic chemical do you consider safe in your formula? Even the FDA does not have enough data to set a threshold of safety for infants. Next is hexane. You by now have seen that nearly all infant formulas are boasting of being even better for your baby because of the addition of DHA. What they are not telling you is in nearly every case, DHA is extracted from algae using a chemical called hexane. Hexane is a neurotoxic solvent that is highly explosive. In fact, there was an explosion in Kentucky in 2003 downstream from a MarTech biosciences plant that produces infant formula, and it was concluded by the Kentucky State Fire Marshal that the explosion was caused by the release of toxic hexane. Many natural soy formulas also are created using this chemical. There have been many reports of adverse effects in infants such as diarrhea that just won't stop after ingestion of these formulas. This chemical is in such low levels in infant formula that it is declared safe. But why would you want to expose your new baby to such a highly toxic chemical? The formula companies claim that it makes formula closer to breast milk. But adding something that is healthy when it occurs naturally does not mean it is just as good when created by a manufacturer. Many of the formula companies, especially the larger ones, use questionable practices to sell their products, including advertising in third world countries that formula is better than breast milk. Some babies die from these practices because of mixing with unsafe water. It is best to support those companies that do not use these practices to discourage this type of behavior. If we do not support companies that make formula with questionable ingredients, they will change them. Make sure you see the USDA organic seal on your product. Avoid companies that package in BPA, that use hexane to extract their DHA, and stick to organic to avoid high fructose corn syrups and other less healthy ingredients. The safest way to avoid this problem is to breastfeed. Breastfeeding is healthier in many ways if at all possible for mom and baby. It provides immunity to illness, the correct percentage of fatty acids, and other nutrition and is always the perfect temperature. However, this is not always a viable choice for all moms. In fact, it is estimated that 70% of babies are given some formula by three months of age. So when formula feeding, choose brands that have cardboard sides so there is less metal lined with BPA touching the powdered formula. Do your homework. Many companies when asked will simply state that BPA is safe and that they are within the FDA guidelines when asked. Others will say they contain no BPA, but refuse to put that in writing. For more information, visit the Environmental Working Group site for access to the Infant Formula and Bottle Guide to find out what's in your formula and bottles.